Okay, good day and welcome to my tutorial on how to use uh, a Google server to test um, your telecom device uh, whether or not it has the ability to successfully send an email. Uh, the reason this uh, particular server and, and this method comes in handy is I frequently deal with technicians that are installing uh, devices on a, on a customer's network that's unknown to them and you know they'll get the device all configured and what will happen is the email won't successfully deliver to the client so what we advise from the, you know the technical support team is to use a test server that you know works every single time to make sure and prove that to your client that yes my device works um, can you please you know take a look at your SMTP server uh, that we're relaying off of and check the configuration. Um, so what this is, is this is a server uh, that Google allows you to relay off of to Gmail addresses only. Uh, it does not require encryption, um, which at the end I'll show you, you know, why encryption is important, uh, but it will allow you to test um, just to make sure that, you know, your customer's network will allow you to pass uh, traffic. Uh, some networks they block traffic and make you force everything to go through their through their email server. So, anyway, with that being said, uh, I'm going to use the command line to show you uh, a couple of different things. The first thing is I'm going to telnet to the SMTP server, and one of the things that I should see almost immediately is I should get a hello message back or a welcome message from the SMTP server to say to say that they acknowledge my connection and you know go ahead and proceed with the rest of the syntax. Um, after that you know I'll just continue to send these command lines uh, down uh, down to the server. I'll send a command the server will respond. I'll send a command the server will respond and also in the meantime uh, or at the same time I'm actually I'm running Wireshark in the background uh, so if you don't have, if your product doesn't have a command line that you can test these from um, or you don't have the ability to test in this fashion, then what you can do is you can also request a Wireshark trace or take a Wireshark trace of the activity and then you can monitor from Wireshark the communication going back and forth with the, uh, with the email server. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up a command line here and from the command line this is just a windows 7 uh, dos or not dos but just a windows 7 command line and first thing i'm going to do is telnet to the ip address of the smtp server and make sure that you put that space 25 because that tells us that we want to connect to the smtp server on port 25 um, You'll notice that I'm copy and pasting these commands in. The reason is is because the the syntax has to be almost exact, uh, or actually has to be a, you know very specific. And in running through a couple of trials of this video, I made of uh, I'm a bad typer, so made some typing errors and it didn't go well. So I'm just copying and pasting. Uh, so you can see that we were greeted with the hello message. Um, or actually we were greeted with the banner, the 220 banner uh, that says GSMTP and then I typed in the H-E-L-O and you know, we'll continue down with the, uh, with the syntax and you'll see you know, I'll enter a command and the server responds to me. Um, so we, we just told it where we want to send the email to um, and now we're telling it we want what data we're going to send within the body of the email. Uh, so one of the things that we have to add now with the Google server is the from line. Without that line, you'll get an error message that says you're not compliant with the SMTP protocol. Um, and then we can proceed to the body of the email. And after the body of the email is complete, we just put a single period. And that tells the, the server that we're done sending information. And it says, OK, that message was accepted. And I type quit to exit the server. And now I'm going to show you a screenshot of uh, my Gmail account in which that email actually uh, showed up. So it says, you know, this is a test, and just like I typed above. Um, so 
you know that will prove that you know that email actually made it to the destination. Now keep in mind it only works with Gmail addresses. Uh, here is a Wireshark example the, the, of the traffic. Key thing I want to point out is if you look over at the right, you can see from this network capture every word that I typed in that email. Uh, with encryption, that won't be the case. So just keep in mind when you're not using encryption, somebody if somebody's wired in on the network, they will be able to see you know every email that's going in and out of that business. Um, so just keep that in mind. Big fan of Wireshark. More Wireshark tutorials to come. Uh, down the road because they show you so much of what's going on. Um, so the next step here is, uh, you know, guys, if you like what you're seeing on this particular video, uh, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also you can follow me uh, on my Google Plus page. So I uh, hope you found this information useful. And, uh, you know, feel free to leave comments and suggestions and tell me if there's anything that you want to see in the future. Thanks a lot.